is finally the big day, the AFC Championship round here against the Kansas City Chiefs, a team that took us out last season in a very high scoring affair, a game where it just felt like we could never catch them. They just kept scoring and scoring and scoring. Our defense has played a little bit better since then. However, our offense honestly feels maybe a little worse than last season. Maybe that's just my feeling, but player of the week, Clayton, he's got a couple of those as of recent. Wow, it's been all the way to week 15. I know uh, Petrie got one, but like, I feel like it was closer than that, but hey, uh, maybe we actually just looked at it and I'm seeing the double, <laughs> I don't know, but Chris Clayton, obviously with a pick six, kind of uh, changed that Bills game. It was pretty close before then and the pick six kind of, you know, separated us a bit without it. Who knows what happens? But of course, looking at the team, we have a couple of uh, really high morales, but also a couple of actual upgrades, and we still have yet to do the training. But this is what the squad's looking like. And because of the scenario from last week carrying into this week, we do have a little bit of a bonus with those morales. I mean, you can see a plus seven is not a normal uh, addition if you will. What does the upgrades look like? I thought it said 80, like 91 or so. I don't know why that threw me off. But obviously insane coverage. Great play rack tackles up there. This could be like the golden perfect storm, if you will. I don't know what a golden storm is. But it's. <laughs> I think it's when the, the liquid in the storm is a, is a different substance. Uh, but let's take a look at the uh, potential injuries of the Chiefs. We don't know. I mean, maybe Mahomes is injured and like it's just a completely different situation. Not the case. Uh, they're completely healthy. Our center's still out, but it really hasn't hurt us too much, thankfully. Uh, but let's take a look at the roster real quick. I don't imagine they would have added much. They're probably right up against it. Uh, we also played them earlier in the season, and we won that game pretty handily, so hopefully that happens again. 99 overall Mahomes. X-Factor Pacheco, who is just insanely fast. Looking at the receivers, definitely on the lower end for the most part. Tony at number one, Rashi Rice at two, and then Richie James at three. Uh, I thought Rashi Rice was a little taller than that, to be honest, but it is what it is. Claiborne, though, I got to say, last time we played him, he was really good, and I think he had over 1,000 yards receiving. Left tackles, iffy. Left guard's great. Center's great. Right guard's great. Right tackle's pretty good. So if they got a new left tackle, they'd have you know one of the best lines in the league, especially when you consider you know offensive lines like the Eagles are nowhere near as good as they once were as Jason Kelsey's most likely retired. Lane Johnson might even be retired. But looking at Carl Loftus, decent pass rushing. Uzuma, very good pass rushing. Well, a bit better with that finesse. Uh, Chris Jones is still as good as ever. Still need that second DT. If they got a new DT, that'd be great for them. Uh, choice, very, very fast. Uh, Nick Bolton's really good and fast. Leo Chanel's not bad. And then right outside linebacker, DJ Johnson, who's Probably more of a pass rusher. Uh, is very fast, though, so that could still throw us off. No change of direction with him, though. Corners are really good, which, ha you know, gave us some troubles. Justin Reed is very fast. And then Elliott's, you know, decent zone coverage, even though he's on the slower side. But as far as how we're going to approach this, I'm actually not sure. I really don't know what I want to do. Uh, that's that's the scout, and we'll, uh, we'll deal with that later. That's, uh, that's not, like, uh, you know, an important thing at this point in time. But I think... Running the ball to the outside wouldn't be bad for us. They're very good at passing, but their run game's iffy. They seem to throw the ball a lot more in the short range. Uh, I would love to see some yards, 1,500. So they do throw the ball short a lot, but that double move, I think he's still got to defend the short pass. That seems to be what they go for. They're bad in the pass game, good in the run game, really. So outside yards, they are really good at stopping. Inside yards, they're just as good at stopping uh passing yards short they are pretty bad at uh defensively faster reaction see i don't want that i'd rather just have like nothing affecting the pass game and just try to run the ball outside i think that's the best call and now we have to do some training all right we got a couple of upgrades a lot of upgrades actually a whole team pretty much is going to go up uh, at least one terrible upgrade for glover i just want one just give me one boost to the rating I'm going for. If I'm going for power uh, move, power rusher, I want one power move. Like this. I want one coverage. You know, I would like more, but at least I get one. Uh, let's go Mr. Griffin. He'll always, I mean, he always cooks with his upgrades. I'm not even worried about this. This is easy, a plus one or plus two. 
There we go. A little bit of Excel as well. Looking strong. Uh, Corey Hudson. Still going with that speed rusher. Still going with that speed rusher. Plus three. Plus two. Not bad. Now at 89 finesse, which is pretty good. Uh, Nico Collins now up to 83 with an upgrade to what? It's hard to tell because there's a lot of boosts right now, but short route could definitely go up. He's only at 80, 84 medium, 84 deep. So short route, would that be physical? Like physical would be like good stuff at the line, route run wins, spec catch plus three. <laughs> I mean, we'll take that. That's actually a really nice upgrade for him because I didn't realize this. The way he catches, you would assume that the spec catch is really high for him. Uh, once again, medium and short is what we're looking for. Uh, with Ford, so I imagine slot, right? That's that's where you're going to be going for as the slot receiver. Gets the short, but not really the medium. Uh, Clayton, I think he's already pretty balanced for both, so let's keep going with this uh, slot to get that, uh, that man and zone up. Doesn't get the zone up, but, I mean, looking good. Looking good in the 90s for man coverage. Petrie, who we talked about, like, I don't know if we can actually afford him. He's had himself a really good end of the season and into the playoffs, unfortunately, timed for us as, you know, if we're going to try to keep him, it's going to be kind of tough to, to do so a little bit late. Uh, run stoppers usually like the best, like I said, for an outside linebacker because you usually get two things, and that's what happens here. A good block shed, a zone, two to tackle, which I'm sure he needs. Uh, how does he even get to? I guess he's getting the plus three boost, but Will Anderson... Is he at 95 finesse yet? He's at 95 finesse. Do you actually go with block shed now? I think we're going to go for the block shed. We're going to go with the run stopper. See what we get. Three to block shed. That's worth it. 78 block shed now. be nice to get him to 80 and then maybe try to go for 99 finesse. We'll see. Uh, and the rest are all pretty much backups. Here it is. The Chiefs versus the Texans. Still no primetime game. I don't know what we got to do to get to the freaking primetimes. Why is this not the primetime game? The revenge match. But we're the number one seed. I can't remember. Were the Chiefs number one last time? And we get like kind of the, the seeding revenge. I don't know if we're going to get the actual game revenge. But this is an absolute must-watch game. I mean, they're both they're championship games. They both need our must-watch. But this is more must-watch if that even exists. Obviously, CJ Stroud. Once again, it's it's kind of a down season for us even though we've quote-unquote, played better because of the win-loss, but obviously he's ready to go, and Mahomes, you know, we played them earlier in the season, and it was not a good time for them. We absolutely smoked them, so if the history here is to be believed, there's a good chance we are headed to the Super Bowl, so we got to play our game, you know, run the ball, right? We, we get in some trouble, and we just forget to run the ball. I think running the ball is going to be key, and, of course, stopping number 15. Let us kick this ball off to start it out. We're 40 minutes away from a potential Super Bowl. And speaking of number 15, here he comes out onto the field. Pretty sure he had some pretty good numbers. Who would have thought? Yeah, 45 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 48, 79. Did he win MVP? Those look MVP numberly, in, in my opinion. Just my opinion. Dallas and Philadelphia on the other side, so... Whoever wins this game is, is not winning the Super Bowl guaranteed. You know, sometimes you look at, you know, the matchups across the board and you're like, okay, there's a really good chance. Oh, I'm not going to get there. And Mahomes already putting himself in some pressure, having to throw that ball away. Runs right into the arms of Will Anderson pretty much, but smartly gets rid of it. All right, 25-yard line still as they can't gain a yard. And that will be a run, and that'll be wide open. It's kind of our fault a little bit. We could have been there with Petrie, but... We had the purple route defense, so, you know, the linebacker really just needs to get into his spot there and at least kind of force him to slow down or something. As Murray's going to be roaming the middle, it's going to be a quick throw to the outside. We talked about this as a problem. Really good open field tackling so far for Sermon, who is now two for two, but obviously giving up eight yards on that play is going to open things up for him here. Looks like a run, so we're going to bring everyone up, but still, I'm not going to... Oh, there you go, Scott! I'm not going to throw away the pass defense little push up as well loss of three on the play all right we got a little blitz coming in let's move ah, i can't move him over in time and that's a nice quick throw can't get out there 
Pacheco getting the ball quite a bit early. For the sliders, they're the same as usual, but I changed their catching. I put it up two or three. Just seeing too many wide open drops. Ah, that's our fault. Oh, wow. Look at the speed of Murray, though. Obviously, Pacheco gets the first down, but he's like 95 speed. Murray from a trailing position, slight angle, catches him. I mean, that's still going to be a first down, but it's still a really good play, all things considered. And we're going to meet him this time. A missed the tackle. Sermon, another hit stick. Peter Griffin is now injured, though. The forearm not looking so good, and that sucks. I was about to say, don't slam it. Your forearm's the one that's hurt. Peter's kind of giving him, like, a, a light pat on the back. That doesn't, like, seem like... That doesn't seem like an injury consolement. Oh, my God. Back to the short play. Can't get over there this time. Nice shot to the knees. It's our best way to tackle is just go low. Is Griffin injured? I can't even know yet, but that felt like a he had a really bad penalty and coach pulled him out to calm him down type of uh, pat. Not a you might be out for the game type pat. And that's wide open. Touchdown. Right foot was close. Stingley beat and Claiborne, the man we talked about, as maybe their best option on offense. Big touchdown. Perfect throw. He was basically like push past almost to him. That ball was close though. I'd like to see this. Yeah, I mean closer than you would think. So right here you would assume right foot down, left foot, I mean really close. Barely getting that. Bruised hand. Pearson will be the guy for now, but Pearson's a good you know, edge rusher. We have depth on this team, so... Not really too worried about uh, Peter uh, being out at this point. Obviously, I want him out there, but you know, we can hold it down until he's back. But not a great kick return from Donaldson. Means we need 84 yards to tie this one up. CJ Stroud, obviously, not quite 45 to 10, but very good anyways. Uh, have him beat on yards by a little bit, and it's not much different. Pretty similar numbers. It just means that our team is willing to risk it a little bit more than the rest of them. Oh, there's a big play for Ford. Kind of thought we would get more than that, but obviously the angles are kind of set up. 15 yards is big, though. We talked about uh, potentially run the ball quite a bit this game, especially to the right or the stretch in general. Nice cutback, and Pierce with patience gains 12. A lot of patience on that play. And I might go right back to the stretches. I don't like the RPO look. They're kind of pressed up. It's going to be hard to beat on that. And try to cut back inside, gets hit, stiff, gains two. Got to be careful of Nick Bolton. I'm afraid of his ability to take the ball away. Got the play action, Rudolph. Probably our man. He is. And wide open, caught! Rudolph! 55-yard play. Two runs to the right on the stretch. We play action from that side. And a huge gainer on the cross. Rudolph, 55-yarder, tying the game up. Beautiful play. I thought it might have been slightly overthrown, but it was on the money. Maybe would have liked to lead him up for you a little bit more than that. McDuffie and, you know, these corners who have really done pretty well against us. Getting smoked early on that one. That was a very quick answer, and we have to change this play because we have a linebacker in man coverage against a wide receiver. And while Richie James isn't that fast... Speaking of, I believe, he is very agile. And that's really the problem with these linebackers. Is obviously, they're really fast, but it's a lot of weight to be shifting around. While they are still one of the best you know, you know, groups of linebackers for change direction, it's just not the same as a slot receiver, which, speaking of, gets blasted by Sermon. But uh, right now, this is a bit of a gunslinger match. Even though we ran the ball a couple times and then it set it up, it's still a big play no matter how you get it. Mahomes with the ball and another quick play. We're getting torched in coverage right now. I didn't change anything about that. Only changed their catching. Felt like everything else is pretty fair and even then the catching hasn't really been a problem too often. Will Anderson. Damn. Another really good play. Another really good hit though to the eight. Hoping one of these maybe knocks it free as right now our defense is getting smoked. I mean, this is usually what we do to other teams. Griffin to Griffin. Oh, running backs open. Cuts it upfield, and that'll be another touchdown for the Chiefs. I don't know what's going on in this one, though, but, like, 
they're back to playoff Chiefs. This is literally what it felt like going against them last time. It was like every drive was a touchdown. Oh, good try. What a nice fight. Uh, every drive was a touchdown, and, you know, once we just didn't score a touchdown ourselves on a drive, the game just started to pull away. And I don't want that to happen again, but I don't like the similarities. Oh, you bought. Get that throw. That's a tough one. Dropped. Come on, Rudolph. It's a perfect throw. You get hit in the hands by the ball when you're a wide receiver. That needs to be caught. I don't care how old school that sounds. And especially in that situation. Pierce, nice fight. Gain seven. Okay. Manageable third down and three. Might just go two go routes on the outside. Please hit that. Oh, that's a dot. What a throw. Might be the best throw of the day, and it's only for five yards. We'll see, obviously, but uh, that was a big play. I mean, that ball, the way the linebacker played that needed to be almost perfect. I like slants here because I think it's going to be wide open Boyer. Maybe not. There goes Rudolph. Oh, what a move! Rudolph in the open space again! Having a day! Drops the wide open play. Makes another beautiful play deep on the slant. Breaks the tackle or slips past the tackler. And there's no one in sight. And they're running full blast because they know the speed of this offense. And even then, it's not enough. Perfect play. Great blocking. And it's another tie game. Over 100 yards for Rudolph already. The man's cooking in the championship run. Oh, crap. Oh, it's a freaking... I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I was about to say, thankfully, it's a throw because... We, uh, we kind of sold a little bit there. That counterplay would have been devastating, but first down's a first down. There's nobody covering anyone. Their coverage is definitely a little bit better than ours, though. And the run game, they still gained six. I mean, it's really going to come down so far, at least it seems, to whoever makes the first mistake. Oh, we got smoked by Creed. And not quite the tackle we were hoping for, but slowed him down enough for uh, Griffin to get all the way over there, it seems. And that should probably take it to the second quarter. We'll see. Clock's draining, but I don't know. Maybe you don't want to lose the momentum. And we're in coverage, but that'll be another short throw. I mean, I get... I don't know. Press man, five man, I guess. I, I really don't know how to, to counter what's going on here. Very similar stats. But we're doing it in a quicker fashion, in fairness to us. This is my solution to what's happening. And I don't know if I like it. Oh, chance. No way. How is that PI? I will still take that every day of the week over just a catch. But really, that's PI? I thought the timing was insane. Woo! Just because he T-Rexed. The timing was really good. That's why I did it. No way, that's P.I. That's finally, 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 some sort of successful play for the defense. Even though it should have been third down there and we would have had the stop likely. I mean, what can you do? There's so much to cover. We gain seven, or they gain seven. We stop them barely. Let's move them over even though we're blitzing that side just to make sure that they don't have like a counter or some sort of run to the left. And there it is. And we get blocked up. That could be a touchdown. Can't catch him, and Pacheco scores again. Wow, this has been a crazy one. What is this, five straight touchdown drives to start this game out? I mean, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to keep playing the way I see fit, at least on offense. Oh, I didn't see the guy. I thought O'Donnellson had one. Would be a hell of a time to get back on the kick return board. Of course, Rudolph killing it. Two catches for 120 yards and two touchdowns. You can't really do much better than that. Maybe you get a little bit more yards, but where, where even is he, speaking of? Hello? Rudolph, or not Rudolph, Nico. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him! No catch! 80 yards! I don't know what's happening. The big plays, three of them. Three of them now. For touchdowns. Unbelievable. Nico Collins wins off the line. I thought, you know, he had enough room to where we'd at least probably catch it.
but I did not think he was going to pull away enough. And we score again. This would so far be the craziest playoff game like in history. 42 points, and it's just barely starting the second. Screen. That's a great play by Oz. He loses four. And, uh oh. Kenneth Murray's injured, and it looks kind of bad. He's limping. Oh, no. Not the locker room. I don't know why they have him walking on his own power, but sure, dude. All right, Scott. Going to be playing more snaps. And, of course, Richie James over the middle. Literally one incompletion this game. And I can't even remember what it was. Henry Toto. We like him in the, the red zone. Overthrown by Mahomes. Finally something. That would have been probably a first down. Dislocated ankle for Murray. It could be the rest of the season. Let alone this one, if we actually are able to pull this out for the victory. Oh, I couldn't get there in time. Going to follow through just in case. Another first down. You really don't know if coming with a blitz is going to do much other than give them a quicker score. Oh, turns around. Good teamwork. Six yards, though. Ringing the rush from the side they've got their players on. Quick throw out there. Come on, get off the block, Sermon. Don't know why we got our hand up, Clayton. A bunch of yards gained, only 15 away from another score. This would literally be perfect scoring touchdowns on every single drive by both teams. Somebody's got to get a stop sooner or later. Running back. In some trouble, and that'll be a throwaway. Finally, something. We're starting to break them a little bit. You know, it's taking us a while, but... You know, an overthrow, a uh, throw away, and I don't know, maybe. Oh, it's perfectly timed. Should have been picked by Sermon. The throw is just not enough out there. Come with the blitz. Feel like you have almost no choice. Get over there, and it's another perfect throw with all that throw power. Guns it in there, and that'll be another score. Oh, my lord. <laughs> this has been a wild one. To the right, Pierce. Nice move. Pierce doing a lot for 12. Beautiful. That underneath slip off move is so sick. I'm gonna run left because I don't want. Oh, ah, oh, good try. I don't want Chris Jones to get a freebie. Four yards gain, fair enough. But I suppose the like the pull away from him would be tougher to defend because you have to run into him and hopefully not miss. The problem with this is if it's not RPO, I mean, we're running into a wall. Thankfully, it is RPO. You know what I mean? Like, actually throw to him. And Rudolph fights forward for the first down. Stroud, six completions for 229. That was Rudolph's only non-touchdown uh, catch there. Kind of hesitated inside. Washington gains about eight. Mixing up a little bit more before than before. I don't know how it's going to work out, but really just trying to to utilize this clock the best way we can. Try to end this half with the ball. Put ourselves in the driver's seat possession-wise. I know that's risky to be not getting as many yards as possible, but I think way that we're playing on defense, I'm willing to play that game. Of course, Trent McDuffie being injured there, definitely a pretty big one for them. And Pierce... I mean, the only way that was a bad decision is if we miss our field goal. That's the only way. Because he's not scoring a touchdown on that play, so it doesn't really matter that he gets a little bit closer. It's all about a field goal at that situation. Oh, crap. Or we run out of time. Those are the only two. Like, us falling short there didn't affect us being on a third and six now, right? Like, it didn't... That's irrelevant. Last time we ran that... Ah, do we risk the run? If we have him ID'd, slide him left, and it works. Fall forward again. Trying to waste that clock. It's a risky game. I think the problem with this would be that you would definitely expect that to be what we're doing, because why else would we be diving like this? Yeah, maybe I should have taken that all the way outside, but we gained three. It's fair enough. Two-minute warning. I mean, quick out for Ford. I mean, his route running is getting better. That is crazy coverage. Great catch, though. Gains three. Stays in bounds as well. I get they can't, like, guarantee that they get the stop, but, I mean, if you're them, you probably call the timeout there, right? Double drag, hoping we win it, but they do have inside leverage. But Boyer kind of has a free release here. Ford. 
Hit that throw. And obviously, when you have the touchdown, you take it. We wasted a bit of clock. But I'm not falling down short on that one. As much as we could have absolutely taken, like, all of the clock, you, you have a touchdown, you take it every time. Still, we don't fall down the multiple times we did that drive. They're probably cooking with an extra minute or two here. And, wow, I mean, the DT. Is that Hudson? Did so well there. And for them to run the ball there, and they're still going to call a timeout, so fair enough. I was about to say, I, I feel like maybe too conservatively. Oh, my, Sermon. I mean, none of the safeties have been able to cover uh, Richie James trying to pick a ball that we have no chance at picking to the 47-yard line. I probably don't call a timeout there if I'm them, which they are not going to. Little bump inside. Nice hit. I thought we missed that with Scott. I mean, if we hold them to a field goal here, that's still considered a win because that would mean that, based on the way this game has gone, since each team has scored a touchdown every drive so far, we have won the situation. Well, I don't know if that's going to happen. Is there all the way to the 20? What is happening? The clock's running. Can't waste that time out now. you got to go for it. Inside, and that'll be a throwaway. So 10 seconds left with the timeout. Obviously, they can take something to the middle of the field and uh, call a timeout, set up a uh, a shot into the end zone, maybe. Or just take the shot now. Don't want to lose that field goal, but... Man, our decision, if we stop them, obviously. Good play. That and There it is. There's the stop. Our decision to go down a couple of times. All the difference in the world. If they'd had 20 or 30 more seconds, let alone the minute or more they would have had... I mean, they maybe score another touchdown before half. Instead, they're going for the field goal, which, once again, is the first non-touchdown drive result of the game, which is insane to think. The clock is the only thing that got to stop so far. <laughs> That's wild. Obviously, I don't really think Donaldson's got the greatest chance of returning for a touchdown, but he's got the best chance at a score with four seconds left. And uh, I think you play it smart. Normally, I don't. This might be the first kneel we've done this entire series to end a half. But you know what? You got to play it smart. Down three against a Chiefs team that cannot stop scoring is pretty good. This is a crazy one. For this game to go back to Andy Reid looking thin, though. Okay. Uh, looking at the yards, so similar. But the plays, I mean, we're just doing it more effectively. So is this that field goal stop? Is that the difference? Is that what it's going to take to win this game? Is that stop of the field goal there right at the end of that half? And I'm not really sure what you do. I think you keep trying to run the ball a little bit. I'm going to defend the medium pass. They're definitely cooking us up with the medium pass. Obviously, the short pass as well, but medium is really getting them down the field in a hurry. I like what we're doing here on offense, at least. So I'm not going to change that as Donaldson finally, you know, kind of gets something. Damian Pierce, I mean, he's getting the ball. He's not getting the ball that much, but he's getting the ball. And more importantly, you know, the pass game's working. So why would we uh, why would we only run the ball? Just because that's what we said we were going to do? This looks a little bit better than the last time we ran it, but still, RPO is the main look. It was probably there, but the run also looked there. And there goes Pierce for nine. Could be a shot play. Don't want to force a shot play just because it's inches, but, I mean, if it's there, I kind of want it. You know what? I'm going to run the ball. I was going to go for that play action, but they're they're really far out there in a zone look. And Pierce gets quite a bit. We'll take seven. Back to the ground. I'm not worried about the clock right now. Once it gets there, we'll get there. It's all about scoring at this point. Pierce may lose the zone there. Stiffarm felt like the best bet, and uh, he did lose it, I think. Actually, I don't know, because I think it's showing Rudolph. Yeah, damn, he lost it. It wasn't really a loss. We just ran this play. Oh, Pierce. Free run to the edge. Nice spin. Gets about 16 yards to the 42. Great blocking by the tight end. I mean, everyone blocked well, but the tight end specifically. Blocking that edge like a champion. Go run the ball inside with Washington. Slow down to get that little zone. There's a little opening. The little man. If that's Pierce, he probably gets you know a little too heavy in there and... Kind of bounces off the walls of the defense. Run left wouldn't be the worst case. I'm going to go up the middle, though. And Kud blocks again. First down, Pierce. Nine yards off of 100 at the 23-yard line. All right. Pass play. That's a scary one, but gains about six. That corner could have jumped it. That would have been really bad. Stretch back right. 
You said that was our focus this game? Uh-oh. Damn, he did really well there. Linebacker cooked up on Schultz. Third and four. I really don't want to tie this game up. Sounds weird to say it like that, but you know what I mean. I really don't. I kind of feel like that corner is going to, like, leave. Maybe not. It's a tough one. Overthrown. Damn, tie game, I guess. Got to hit it, though, obviously. Maybe hopefully it'll be, like, the sign of uh, defenses playing defense. As uh, their last drive was a field goal, our last drive was a field goal. We're just literally tying what they do. But the problem is now they have the advantage tied up with ball. That's, I mean, if every drive is a score like it has been so far, they have us uh, have us beat right now. Comes down to it. I'm not going to let the game be... Well, I guess it's not decided on a freaking coin toss. It's like, I don't want the game to be decided on a coin toss. You go for two. But uh, it's a little early to be talking like that. Miss the press. Deep over the middle. I mean, hit him. Oh, he stays in bounds too. 300 yards, and it's not even the fourth quarter. There's still a whole fourth quarter for him to put up another couple hundred. Press into the line. And he's off his platform. Blasted, but first down almost anyways. It's been a hell of a game, though. Can't deny that. Everyone's getting their money worth now. Going to this game was not a mistake. Uh oh, get out there. We overran it. No, 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 no. Wow, beats. Holy crap, what a hit, though. Glover the ET had to get him. Rashi Rice with a crazy one. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at this. RPO didn't really expect it. Stingley got to pass the block, but he got chipped slightly, thrown him off. Ankle snapped. Cutback lanes. I mean, wow. If Henry was going for a strip, I do not mind that he missed the tackle. Oh, my Lord, this game. It's literally like last season. It's literally like last season. Oh, down seven. It really might come down to a two-point conversion, but also don't want to get too excited and talk about, oh, oh it'll come down to a two-point conversion, yet we still got to score. We have to at least get these touchdowns. And honestly, we might just keep the ball in the end zone because it's really not going our way in the special teams game. Inside so leverage. And le I think the corner might be cover two. I think it was, but kind of hard to gauge because uh, Nico Collins got pushed hard downfield. So even if it's cover two, him like kind of committing to Collins that deep makes it where I can't really throw to him anyways. Great block. Washington first down. I don't want to jinx it, but so far, especially on the run plays, the team is doing pretty well against Chris Jones. They are doing their job. To the outside, Pierce. And kind of had to kind of had to get a little bit like closer to the line than I wanted to just to make sure that fullback got that edge. We gained 4 though. Inside handoff to Pierce. And doesn't really get a whole lot of help, but gains four. Definitely manageable on third down. Thinking the way this game is played, it's crazy to be talking like it, but I think every freaking drive is a uh, four-down territory situation. I seen the blitz. Face mask? Question mark? No? Oh, no. I mean, like I said, I think every play, every drive is a four-down territory. I mean, this is a type of play we would run at the goal line. This looks free. Unless they're bluffing, Pierce is wide. Not really. And I think our own lineman may have just gotten in the way. They should have called him for an ineligible man. Why is he there? Yep. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a tough catch. But I would like... Why is he there? Look at how far upfield he is. It's behind him. I don't know if he catches it anyways. But it's a better chance for Nico than it is... Kenyon Green's head. That might be the play that loses this game. Needed two yards, couldn't get either. And he holds on to that. Oh my god. So there's no winning. You up the catching sliders for them by two. Maybe it gets rid of those wide open drops, but then you have those being caught, you know? I don't know. That's my fault. But we are there anyways. Gets caught up on the line and gains only two. He uh, almost have to blitz. Anytime they've had time, they've gotten a first down. 
I got bumped. I got bumped. Yes! Holy crap. I really wish Griffin would have got the actual sack there, but hey, we got the stop. Maybe they're not going to hit the field goal. Let's see. 54-yarder. Oh, it's a fake. Oh, oh, I thought he slipped past. A very dumb fake. Unless they just had a really bad snap and he tried it. No, it was a fake. And the Chiefs outdo themselves. First time either team scores on a drive and it's back-to-back. -back. Oh, I thought he got the stiff arm. Okay, the run game is starting to like really fall apart a little bit here. It's like we're really fighting just to get like three to four yards. At this point, I think it's uh, it's go time. Pass game needs to just show them who they are. Running back wide open. Can't get the first down, but that's eight yards. A lot of yards. Fourth quarter. Anybody's game. Damn, son. This, this has been a match. This has been a championship round for the ages. Watch the other side. It's going to be like 13 to freaking six or something. NFL should be kicking themselves for not making this the primetime game. Oh, well. Screen pass. Washington gets the block. Gets the slip off. First down. Shaq Mason, great blocking. Great blocking, great position. This is literally the definition of insanity. Literally the definition of insanity. And by that, of course, I mean buying the game every year. I mean, what? Hoping for Ford. Not going to get forward, but Nico will get a lot of yards up the middle here. And, I mean, almost the first down. Gains 13. They're so afraid of that, like, first down throw that they don't cover the underneath that leads to basically a first down throw. Double team Chris Jones. I mean, Pierce with the power. One needed. Gets it. And I actually do want to score very quickly here. We try to score a little bit quicker than we are right now. Tight end. First down. Boyer, 12. One of my favorite plays, although they're really spread out, so... Might be Nico Collins, if anyone. Throw it away. I don't like that. The throws I needed to hit were just a little too long, in my opinion. I kind of want to do an out for Ford, slant for Rudolph, and hope one of them just leaves Boyer. Do I just streak Boyer and just try to hit, them, hit him at the number 10? Ah... Uh, Damn it, I wish Stroud was a little faster to get that edge. He would have had a first down run. All right, Rudolph, I need a route. I need a route desperately. He's not going to get it. Boyer! Touchdown! Dot! Just past Bolton's head. What a throw. And I think it's maybe slightly too early for the two point. I don't know if I want to face a Chiefs team that runs, runs, pass. I don't know if I want to face that. That is a Chiefs offense that will be very hard to stop. Ball is kicked super deep. Barely even has a chance to catch it in. All right, we're near the line of scrimmage. Still got a deep safety, though. Oh, that was a good counter, but look at Hudson. How is that only a three-yard loss? It looks like a freaking five-yard loss. All right, fellas. Do it for Murray. What a play. Only four yards gained. Can we actually get a stop? Please. I mean, you have to come with the ultimate. Oh, it's five, though. It is five wide. In perfect coverage. Insta rush from Scott. A punt. The midi. It doesn't matter if you know it's coming. You can't stop it. Beautiful play. Great coverage. Free rush. Mahomes tries to do a magic. And it's just not going to happen. It's going to be a punt. All right, Donaldson. Do you have any magic? An early score here wouldn't be bad. Like Normally, I'd say you want to waste this clock. But six minutes, I don't know if we can do that from the 40 or the 50-yard line. And I don't think I'm even going to try to. I'm just going to try to score. I don't want to change our way of thinking. You know, we've never been a team just, like, play for the for the clock, right? If it happens, it happens. But intending to play for the clock, I just think that's that's scary to think. Especially when uh, what's working has worked. Uh-oh. Oh, look at Pierce. Finds three or four. Or we got to go slants. They got Bolton. 
Oh my god, what is Collins doing? Intercepted by Fulton. What is he doing? I gotta see the other side. I really hope I didn't miss. Rudolph, I mean, they're both pretty covered. Why is he not jumping? That's insane. He literally didn't jump. I gotta say, this has easily been the best game I've ever played against the CPU. I mean, I have the, the way they've played is kind of wild. I just missed a bait. I I think that was uh, like a C-type route. Middle of the field C route, no? Now they have the clock on their side for the most part. RPO again. Sermon we miss, but Stingley thankfully picks up the slack. I feel like a hit stick there would have been massive. Kind of blitzing a little bit too much almost. Oh, Griffin gets beat. No shot. I can't believe the covers they had on slants there, though. That was insane. They're obviously bringing the rush, so I had, like, no choice. And we're in pretty good coverage. Mahomes. No shot. Patrick Mahomes just did crazy things. Literally real life Mahomes. Wow. I want to see this back in the little replay if I can. I mean, he literally, like, panicked and just found him anyways. Come on, get the block. This would still be pretty big. We get the touchdown with the extra point. We'd win it. No block. <laughs> this, this has just been too stressful. I don't want the kick return touchdown at this point. I'm probably going to, unless I have to, keep this in the end zone. I guess I don't have to ever, unless it's a squib. Just fair catch at any time. Do we have the clutch gene, or are we going to just completely choke? Washington gains seven. Clock is irrelevant. Kind of sat down looking at it too long. Please. And he gets sacked. No. There was a chance at a touchdown. And instead, we're looking at a four-down territory situation here. The ring of the Litz, which has got to mean man. I'm going to hike it. I got to take that. It's a little underthrown. <sighs> Stroud. Why is that underthrown, buddy? This could be the Boyer play. Boyer, perfect throw, drops! No! Another underthrow by Stroud, I think. There's no way. Unbelievable. I think that's game. I think that is literally game. And we miss hard. Good freaking tackle. Literally got to block it. There's no way he just dropped the golden egg. I get it. The throw's a little behind him. But once again, that's got to be caught. <laughs> Unbelievable tackle by his way. That's a touchdown. Maybe you argue that I should have just let him score. First play, even. Or run coming in. And I left him. I, I felt like I had to cover something quick over the side. Let's go red zone scissors, which has not really been a play that's worked too much for me lately. Pierce, pretty open. Stay in bounds, please. Nice. Tiptoe. Beautiful. Well, it's going to come down to an onside kick, which I don't really like our chances on. Ford, nice throw again. Wish we had some of these nice throws on the drive before. Two big misses, including one on this exact play. And the clock doesn't even that matter that much, so if they're going to bring only three down. Whatever I think is going to get me the touchdown is really what matters. Not how much clock there is. Got to get the stop anyways. Or the onside, i say. And there goes Stroud for the touchdown. Ah, the old onside. <laughs> Love it. 36 second drive. If we had two timeouts at least, we would at least have a chance. I don't know which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's strong. You can't angle up or down though. Is this the one? It just goes right to him. And that's going to be the game. Chiefs are headed back to the Super Bowl. It's Jalen Carter time, baby. Can't get in there. We try to pull that Jalen Carter. We're going to get our hand in there and almost pick it. <laughs> Late it. 
Oh, what a try, though. Oh, Jiggly. The Jiggly ball. Man, this Chiefs team, though. I don't know how they do it. Wait, did he just get in the zone from kneeling? Or was he already in the zone? I mean, that one was a little bit cleaner, in fairness. I don't even know if he got his knee down in time. Well, unfortunately, that's going to be how the cookie crumble... Eh? What the hell is this? I mean, it doesn't matter anyways, but what the hell is wrong with EA? Either way, to the five, nothing happens. And we lose the game 52 to 45. I have no idea what it's going to take to beat this Chiefs team. Our honest only way to win this Super Bowl in this series might be if the Chiefs get beat before we have to play them. It's literally like our only strategy. Don't get me wrong, we could have had drives where we, you know, we didn't score every drive, but... It's unrealistic to do that, right? I, unless you're them, I guess. Stroud was great. I mean, that interception really sucked. The ball wasn't great, but I don't know how Nico doesn't go for that, to be honest. Looking at the rushing yards, uh, you know, same yards per carry, similar, uh, you know, numbers in general. Uh, a little bit higher, actually. We, like, doubled their rush yards. Richie James, 11 for 152 and three touchdowns. That's unbelievable. Uh, and obviously Murray got injured, which, I mean, probably changed the game because we had a couple plays where Henry was in, and you know, he missed that tackle down the field on uh, Rashi Rice, and it was a great game. It's just, yet again, on the wrong side of the scoreboard. We have an upgrade for Rudolph and Stroud. Of course, we uh, will end up going to the Super Bowl, uh, not us personally. Short route, let's go with Slot. Wonder if it'd be interesting to play the Pro Bowl. Probably not, right? I haven't played the Pro Bowl at all this Madden, but uh, two short route, one medium, one deep, two to catch in traffic. Actually, a really good upgrade there. And then CJ Stroud. What is his weakness besides throw power, if you will? Uh, short and medium. So I guess field general in the hopes of also getting uh, throw power in the in the process. Two to short, which now puts him at 96. So 99 deep, 96 uh, short, and E95 medium, which is pretty good. Throw on the run is not as great, but Bingham will upgrade at some other point. It doesn't really matter too much, but I'm actually going to hold us here. What's the injury? Would have been long-term, right? Seven-week injury. Wow, that's a lot. Uh, but I'm actually going to hold this here at the Pro Bowl, just in case you guys actually do want to see it. Uh, and, yeah, I wonder if some of you guys thought it was like I was rigging it to win the Super – or not win the Super Bowl, but win – that game and to go to the Super Bowl because I kind of like spoke weirdly at the end of the last episode. I don't even know if anyone caught it, but it was kind of like I was preparing the week to be uh, like we're in the Super Bowl, you know? It was basically sounding like I was like guaranteeing we were going to win this game, but obviously not. I just kind of spoke weirdly. I was kind of just thinking ahead a little bit uh, in potential cases. Weekly award, who won it? Scott with one sack, 11 tackles, I suppose. It's only two teams in the AFC. One had to win it. And Mahomes wins uh, Player of the Week, which Stroud was very close to. But with the interception, no matter what, even if we won, probably would have lost it. Choose versus the Cowboys. Uh, oh, do they not let you play the Pro Bowl anymore? Or is it because we didn't win? make the coach thing? I guess we're not going to hold off. Um, Stroud at number two to Lamar. Okay, Pearson number one. Painter, the fullback. I didn't know they had backup fullbacks in the Pro Bowl. Wide receiver. Did we really not have one? I am shocked by that. Boyer's out to be up there. He is. Tunsil. Uh, Mason Wynn, surprisingly. Uh, Will Anderson. Surprisingly, no DT. Murray's in there. Uh, Christian Harris is in there. Clayton is in there. Stingley is in there. Petrie is in there. Fairburn's in there. Got a lot of return... Uh, not return men, but a lot of pro bowlers just... Not allowed to play it, apparently. I guess we'll go on to see who wins the Super Bowl between the Cowboys and the Chiefs. Actually, I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to keep you guys on edge. That's weird to say like that. Uh, to see the potential dev ups that we may have had. And obviously, the winner of the Super Bowl between the Chiefs and the Cowboys. That's a tough matchup. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this one, you enjoyed the season... And you're excited for next episode, next season, next off season, maybe leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. If you're not new, I really do appreciate your continued support on the channel, especially this series. Maybe follow me on Twitter, Jean Picard, second channel, Picard Plays for not mad content. Don't know what I'll upload in the meantime, but 
probably actually this might already be a weekend video i don't know but um i don't know the plan on uh what the uploads would be i don't know if i want this to be up on a friday because yeah i don't know maybe i upload this on wednesday and then saturday's the draft or something because i like to have a little bit of a break in between otherwise it's like the season gets erased, basically, right? Like, if I do this on, like, a Friday and then the draft's on the Saturday, it's like, what was even the point? We're already moved on, you know? A little bit of a of a, of a a buffer, if you will. A little bit of a recharge. I don't even know what I'm saying at this rate. But anyways, uh, you'll see the off scene soon enough. That's all that matters. Regardless, thanks for watching. All the guys come back for next video. Those damn Chiefs. But until next video, see ya!